Hey, what is up YouTube? It's Malorn here and I'm here with another wonderful video for you guys today. I apologize for the blurry video. Um, I'm actually using my laptop camera, which I have not yet used. Um, so it is kind of blurry. I hope you guys can hear me well. We've actually got a product review today and Vider Energy was kind enough to send me their uh, mints to test out. That's kind of backwards. I don't know. It looks like... And then you've got... You get spearmint, and then this one right here is chocolate mint, the brown one that I just showed you. So, basically, we're going to be trying these today. Um, I have already tried them a couple of times, so I could get a general idea of um, the taste, and so I could also kind of get a better understanding of, you know, whether or not it's actually going to work, um, because they are energy mints, so expect a bit of energy, right? Anyways... Um, before we get into the flavor, though, the spearmint vitamin or vitamin energy has seven point mil or seven milligrams of niacin, which is 45% of your daily value. It has 3.5 milligrams of vitamin B6, 210% of your value. Uh, folate has 170 micrograms of that, which is 45%, and then it has vitamin B12, 21 micrograms, which is 880%. Of your daily value and then it's also got 40 milligrams of caffeine now um, most of the things on that list except for caffeine were just different B vitamins um, sometimes on products they'll be listed like vitamin B12 or vitamin B6 but other times you will see them by their official names like folate and niacin for example um, and then the chocolate mint flavor actually they have they seem to have different amounts of each thing in them so with the chocolate mint flavor, it's got 7 milligrams of niacin, 35% of your daily value. It's got 3.5 uh, milligrams of vitamin B, vitamin B6, which is 175% of your daily, daily value. It's got 170 micrograms of folate, which is 43% of your daily value. And it's got 21 micrograms of vitamin B12, which is 350% of your daily value. And then, of course, it's got the... 40 milligrams of caffeine. Now, if you want to know what these are flavored with, they are flavored with different natural uh, flavors. They don't have any sugar in them, but they do, for example, the spearmint has xylitol, which doesn't cause any kind of weight gain or anything like that, so it's actually really, really good for you, um, and it does provide that sweet taste that everyone's looking for whenever they try mints. Um, and then this one seems to be flavored with Sorbitol, it's got um, sorbitol and sucralose, it looks like. So it says that they're flavored with some kind of uh, sugar alcohol. I'm not sure what that would be. Let's see. Oh, sorbitol. Yeah, I think sorbitol is the uh, sugar alcohol in that one. So this one doesn't seem to have sorbitol in it, with the, which is... No, it does too. So both of them have sorbitol. Um, it's basically just a sugar alcohol that they put in it. It gives it a bit more flavor too. Um, anyways, so we are going to be trying the spearmint one first because I absolutely love spearmint. Um, whenever I buy gum or anything like that, I go out of my way to look for that flavor because it is my absolute favorite. All right, so this right here is a spearmint. You may not be able to see it very clearly, but it's basically a nice white little ball. We're going to move this camera up a little bit, guys get to see my beautiful face nice and close it's a little bit better yeah. okay sorry my phone just got a text message I don't know why I have the screen on that's gonna kill my battery I'm gonna close the window real quick and turn the light on adjust the lights maybe that'll help I don't know Hey, I'm even prettier. What can I say? It's just a natural complexion that I have. All right. It's basically a nice white little wall. All right. Ready? Set. Here we go. Hmm. Okay, put that off of my cheek somewhere. There we go. 
Um, basically what I've noticed is that it does seem to have a kind of chalky flavor to it. It is a bit chalky. Um, it is sweet. It does taste like spearmint, but it's not a texture. It's an actual chalky flavor. It's kind of interesting. It's like, um, like if you toned down a cough drop by a lot. All right. So it's not super, super medicinal, but it's just kind of a chalky medicinal taste. So it's barely there. Um, but you can definitely feel the mint in your mouth. Like it gets all nice and cold, you know, that nice little spearmint kick that you get. And, uh, whenever you breathe, it's like you're breathing ice that's there. So it's still feels amazing. Um, still tastes amazing from what I've noticed over the last few days while I've tried these, um, they do give you a bit of energy if you're doing something like playing video games, for example, if you plan on going for a really, really long time. Um, you can use these to kind of supplement on top of something else, so like a cup of coffee, or um, I would never recommend anyone purposefully go out of their way to drink a monster, because let's just say that <laughs> it gives you energy, but then you crash. You know, I if you're actually looking for real energy, do not go for monster, don't go for rockstar, anything with a lot of sugar, no. Um, but you can add this on top of any kind of uh, sugar-free energy drink or just coffee in general and you will be able to go all night all right or if you are looking for a nice kick while you are out running or something like that and you don't want to get super super caffeinated you don't want all of those different um, stimulants that are in energy drinks or that are in, in sugar-free energy drinks because they're usually loaded with a whole bunch of other things as well um, then this would be a good option because, you know, your heart rate, you get that little kick, get a little bit of focus, but it's not like your heart's trying to beat out of your chest, all right? I play video games a lot and I exercise a lot, and I did it with both of these vents, and the results seem to be that I just got a nice little kick in focus, and that's really, really good because that's what I'm looking for whenever I'm doing those things. Um, but if you are looking for energy, definitely put this on top of something else, and you will get that bit of energy that you're looking for. All right, let me go ahead and... Eat this one real quick. All right, this is the chocolate mint one. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give it a moment to let that taste kind of go away. Um, Cause the flavor doesn't last very long. It's five, six minutes after you take, or after you eat it. But if you kind of, Play around with your mouth a bit you can get the flavor to go away a little bit faster um it's not a bad flavor though it's actually very appealing now the chocolate mint one i found interesting i really really did find it interesting and i don't know if this is important to either of you but the spearmint one has um something called calcium stearate in it while as the chocolate one has something called magnesium stearate i don't know if that makes all that big of a difference in anything I'm not really sure what those two things do, but they are different on the ingredient labels. I just wanted to point that out. Go ahead and get that out of the way. Um, I thought that was kind of fascinating. Anyways, so I've pretty much got the spearmint flavor gone. This is the chocolate mint flavor. What I found interesting about this one is that it does kind of have a chocolatey taste. All right. And I do like the spearmint one better, but let's go ahead and try this one. So, this one is kind of like a cold cup of hot chocolate, all right? Like, if you left some hot chocolate on the table for a little while, um, kind of what it tastes like, except it's also got that mint flavor added to it, um, which I imagine would be pretty good. Because um, hot chocolate, when it's cold, it's not all that bad. It is better when it's hot, because everything's better when it's warm, but um, it's not all that awful. 
I'm not all that bad. And then you add the mint flavor to it, and it gives it a, you know, a bit of sweetness. And then it also gives you that nice explosion in your mouth, where it's like really cold, like you're actually breathing ice. You know, I freaking love that. When I eat a mint, or when I'm chewing gum, that is exactly what I look for. And it seems to be very, very apparent in this product. So, that's pretty much that. Um, like I said, if you are looking for energy, add it on top of something. If you're looking for a bit of focus, all you need is the uh, mint and you're good to go. Unless you're used to taking really large amounts of caffeine, in which case um, this might not be enough because at that point your body has adjusted and you need to adjust your body accordingly or adjust your, ca your caffeine intake accordingly. Um, make sure to keep it... Uh, usually the doctor recommended value is like 400, or 400 milligrams a day. Um, the actual amount that would is about 10 grams. So it takes about 10 grams of caffeine to the average person. Um, one thing, <laughs> don't try and go for a record. All right, If you're adjusting your caffeine intake to the amount of caffeine that you already drink, you know, if you're mainlining coffee all day and you're adding these mints on top of it or you found some caffeinated gum or maybe because there's actually caffeinated ice cream out there too. If you're doing all this and it's got all this caffeine in there, don't try setting personal records with it. All right. Um, I think as far as caffeine goes and especially with these mints because they do taste pretty good. So it would be really easy to just take the whole container in one sitting. Um, don't do that. Be safe. All right, it is caffeine. You know, people talk about things like alcohol and tobacco being bad for you. Caffeine can cause problems. So just use common sense, okay? When you are taking a caffeinated mint or ca chewing caffeinated gum or eating caffeinated ice cream or drinking an energy drink with lots of caffeine in it, don't overconsume. All right, don't let yourself fall into that. It's okay to have a caffeinated mint. It's okay to have caffeinated gum. Just don't take the whole container. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's pretty much that. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video. I do apologize for the lighting again. Um, I will see you guys next time on one of my next videos. Hopefully, I will have my regular camera back up and running. Right now, anytime I try and record a video on my actual desktop, um, I'll click the little record button on my camera, and all of a sudden, it's you know it instantly stops the recording, so I can't continue with it. Um, I'll probably just have, just have to get a new camera and or check out, see if there's anything wrong with the uh, US or USB drive. That might be it, the little place where you plug these. Computers are not my thing. That much is pretty obvious. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out. And thank you to Vider Energy. It was quite the experience.